So this little kitty was limping, um, got hit by a car and they brought it in and it was painful in its left leg. Here's the pelvis and here's the right femur and here's the ball of the femur in the socket and here's the left femur and if you go up here you can see here's the socket and here's the ball and it's out of the socket and it might look like I'm just sitting at the x-ray table what I'm actually doing is putting traction on a cat's leg here's the kitty's leg here's the sling here's the kitty under anesthesia and why are we doing that? Well, because the cat dislocated its hip. And I'm going to try to put it back in. But what I have to do first is let the muscles fatigue because now they've cramped and pulled the ball, the head of the femur, out of the socket and they keep it there. But if I can fatigue the muscles, then I can slip the ball right into the socket. So I'm just going to sit here and relax for a minute, and then I'll show you how I'm going to put it in. That's what we call a dislocation. That's when the, the ball is out of the socket, so a dislocated hip. So we're going to put it in. And Desiree, she's... I apologize. I apologize for that bad behavior. That's better. That's better. Desiree's holding this kitty in a sling so that the muscles can get fatigued. It's uh, keeping track of the cat's heart rate and its oxygen percentage. So to replace a leg, we pull, pull it out, we turn it in, and we flex it. And when we do that, it pops into joint. So I pulled on the leg and I got it almost in. So what I decided to do is to wrap the leg in a sling and after I get it popped in and see if it will shrink down and stay in. So I'll show you what that looks like. So now the leg, one leg is down like this and one leg is up like that wrapped and I'll show you what that looks like in the kitty and when you pop it in you can see the ball is now in the socket. So it has to stay there for a couple weeks. Cats are great. Once they really do well, um, even if you were to leave it out, some cats just form a false joint and actually do fine. But it's always better if we can get it where it's supposed to be. So I'll show you what the sling looks like. So this little kitty's waking up. Good morning, sunshine. The earth says hello. And you can see um, the, the wrap. I put a wrap around the belly and the leg is in, in a flex position. There's the elbow and it's wrapped up against the kitty's abdomen and that hip joint under here is kept in that position so that ball stays in the socket. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Are you waking up? Are you getting used to your bandage? Try another left turn. Yeah. See, that's what cats do when they wake up. It's like they just look at you and they kind of weave and bob their head around. Your eyes are very dilated, aren't they? Let's try left turn. Oh, gosh darn it. My foot's in a sling. I don't know. I'll just bob my head. Well, I made a couple errors there. When I said I was placing the leg, I meant I was putting the ball or the head of the femur back in the socket. That's one thing I said. And then I said, you caught it I put a caption in that wasn't the elbow that was the hawk of the back leg and cats are wonderful healers I, I've seen so many wounds and burns and broken legs in cats and they seem to get through everything just great except for viruses viruses really are hard on cats and another thing that's hard on cats is our kibble or dry food isn't good for every cat because some cats uh, will get chronic bladder problems or urinary blockages from dry kibble. They also get very overweight and diabetic. I actually have taken my cats all, all kibble when I feed them canned food. Another thing I do is I give cats, my cats, some fresh chicken, either raw or cooked, and I give them tuna fish and I give them shrimp uh, several times a week, once a week. Depends on what I'm eating and what's going on. But anyway, I like to treat my cats with some real meat once in a while. 
Um, kibble is not good for all cats because it's so dehydrating. Cats in the wild get so much of their moisture from food, and canned food is probably better for them. But anyway, that's a tip for you cat lovers, too. Take care, and if you have a dog and you want to cook for it or you just want to read about what's best to feed them, read my book, Dog Dish Diet, and it's got a, some tips for cats, too. Thanks. Take care.